Hey there, this is Catherine, and I am sharing uh, an unboxing of the Hedgehog Hollow Days box that I just received. They have a weekend of crafting coming up at the end of October, and um, I saw Alex, who owns the company with her husband, unboxing this, and I just got mine, and I couldn't wait to unbox it. I'm going to make a card and share some of the stencils with you. Okay, so that, I got a green embossing powder. I got some stamps. You can see there are some um, ornaments and then a lot of background stamps. I'm so excited to stamp those out. There's some metallic paper in here and then there's also some cardstock that's been cut down to size. Now this, it's a weekend, so I think there it's two days and there are five or six classes that they share with you using some of these products. But you get this box full of goodies um, with that ticket that you can purchase. I think you can purchase just the ticket, um, but I wanted to have the box too because it's kind of stuff sometimes out of my comfort zone. I, this is the second one I've gotten, and I really enjoyed the last one I got as well. Um, and then there's some stickers that you can add to a little binder and then some sentiments. And then this one had some patterned paper, which was fun. And these are cut, uh, look sort of like for slim lines, although you could use them on A2s. But um, a lot of, looks kind of vintage-y to me with these gorgeous cookies and coffee mugs or hot cocoa mugs, I guess they would be. I love that blue one with the pink cookies. So kind of some different colors uh, scheme. I love the gingerbread house. You could add some glitter glue to that icing to really pop it out. Um, super cute. So I was excited to get some patterned paper as well. So that's kind of fun. So there's a whole lot of different things in there. And then there are the stencils as well. You get those stamp sets and then some stencils. So let me open this up and get these out and I will share those with you. I'm going to use this green paper to kind of show what, um, what you get. There's some masking layers you can see there. And this first one is a four layer. I think there are four layers to it. There is the house and then the details of the house with Santa's sleigh and the reindeer going over. There are the trees and then there's also some snow drifts, I guess, that you can add as well. And then you also get that mask, which is great because I'm going to show you how I'm going to use uh, one of the masks in a minute. And then this one is the Santa's upside down. <laughs> this is the chimney part. There are the legs um, as well. There is the, the white part that would be the snow or be part of his, not the snow, but be part of his suit and his um, legs and then his feet. So there are four stencils on that. And I'm going to stencil that out. I, I couldn't wait to pull that out and start playing with it. Um, so I'll show you that in just a second. And then there's this magical Christmas one that has uh, Santa's and his reindeer going over um, kind of this castle with a little magical theme to it. And then there's also the ornament that uh, I'm so excited about. And I'm going to make a card with that. And then there is this tree one that's got a trio of trees. And again, you get the mask as well. So let me um, let me stencil some of these out. I want to show you what they look like. A lot of them are just adorable. So, so, so cute. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so I forget to film the first little bit, but I have put the chimney down on there. And now I'm going to start layering the other pieces. Now this is the white part. But since I'm using white cardstock, I'm going to use a light gray to get that contrast. And so I'm just going to pull out my, dis my smaller Distress Inks and decide which one I'm going to use. I've got this lighter gray pumice stone. And I'm just going to try and be very gentle and not add a super, super dark layer to it. But I do want it at least to show up on that paper. Now, I think you could use some glitter paste or some texture paste would be fun just some white texture paste to add uh, some interest and a little bit of that contrast that would be super fun as well if you wanted to use the white cardstock so i'm just going to finish this part off and then you'll be able to see that it kind of pops off the paper a little bit and we've got the start of our upside down <laughs> santa 
coming down the chimney. So I'm just going to um, line this up and then I'm going to use candied apple on this next layer. That first layer was uh, fired brick and then this one is candied apple which is a little more of a brighter red. So I'm just going to clean my brush off a little bit and make sure that um, I've got that bright color coming out. And then I'll ink that up. So the, um, like I said, the Hedgehog Hollow Days, it's a couple of days. And there are a lot of giveaways. If, you, if you're not familiar with uh, Maker Forte, these are the brands that um, the Hedgehog Hollow creates. And so, but there's some classes and some techniques and stuff. And it's on Zoom. And, um, and then you can replay them later if you want to. If uh, a lot of times, well, the, the um, time I did it last time, I tend to be one who just kind of watches and listens. I don't really create. I like to just watch and listen and get some ideas and some, some inspiration and then go back to it later. Um, so that's fun. That's what I tend to do with any class that I take. I tend to be more of a watcher than a maker. Um, and then I can, I can use that inspiration later down the road. Okay, now I've got my feet that are ready. The boots are ready to be stenciled in. Uh, you can see how quick and easy this is. And all of the work has been thought out and done for you. I'm using black soot here to add uh, his feet. And super, super cute, easy background. Um, I, there was a candy corn one that came out a little while ago from Maker Forte that I picked up that I'm absolutely in love with. So I'm enjoying, um, I enjoy that there's some of these layering stencils in this box. Look how cute. Um, and I decided though that I wanted to add a little bit more contrast to the uh, chimney. So I'm coming back with this deeper mahogany color and I'm just going to add a little bit more to uh, the chimney to make it stand out a little bit different than the red pants. So I'm just going to take a second here and add that back in. I mean, you could use like a brown brick or, um, you know, whatever color you wanted to. But I always love a red brick chimney. I think that's always fun on cards. So I'm going to finish this part off with that mahogany. And then we'll have that final reveal. Let's see how it turned out. I think it should be hopefully cute. And I'm trying to clean up between because I'm such a mess. Oh yeah, look at that. How cute. So I will use that for um, a card soon. I'll probably add Christmas or something like that or Santa's coming to town. And now I'm going to ink blend in this tree that I'm using the Pine Needles Distress Ink. I don't have a lot of the um, oxides, I should say. I don't have a lot of the green oxides. I'm not even sure how many there are, uh, but I really have enjoyed this green one. And um, I'm just going to, I'm not making it um, totally solid, I guess I would say. I'm purposely leaving some of that white because, you know, with a tree, it, it, you can see the, the light filtering in. So I intentionally am not making it just this perfect solid blend. And then I'm going to come back with frayed burlap for my brown uh, tree trunk. And I'm just going to blend that in. I'm using a smaller brush to kind of control where that ink is going to go. And look at that. that. That literally was probably a minute or two. Super quick. Okay, and so now I'm going to make a card with this gorgeous ornament stencil. Like I say, when Alex showed this box recently, I was so excited to get this ornament stencil. Um, I love ornaments. I have an ornament stamp from long ago from another company that I still use quite frequently. Anytime there's an ornament stamp, I'm probably going to get it. I just, I don't know, I have this big love for ornaments. And I'm excited about this stencil because I can make it any color I want to with these different, um, three different parts. So I've inked, you can see I've ink blended that on with some Twisted Citron. I'm going to choose this pattern on here. And there is, it's hard to see, but there's kind of a circle that's been etched into it. So you can see exactly where to layer up that center part. And I'm just going to tape that down so it doesn't move on me. You can see I've got a lot of colors out. I'm just trying to decide 
which ones I'm going to use. I'm going back to that pine needles again because I think it will be a really nice contrast with that lighter um, green twisted citron because I really want it to pop off the page. Again, this would be a fun application with a glitter gel or a texture paste. Uh, you could just do so much with it. And look how quick that is. It's beautiful. Now you could stop here completely. You could maybe add your string and a sentiment and be completely done. I'm going to take this to a little bit further and I'm going to emboss this uh, the top of my uh, ornament. I've got this um, dauber, this embossing dauber from I think that's Ranger. It just is a little bit of a larger, covers a little bit of a larger area. And I'm going to add this embossing powder on top. I got a little bit on the bottom, so I'm just going to clean that up a little bit. And then I will take my heat tool to it and we will get the, what I call the great reveal. <laughs> you know, you put this powder on there and it looks kind of eh, not so great. And then you add, bring your heat in and that's when the magic occurs. Um, embossing is my absolute favorite technique. I know I've mentioned that in videos before if you've seen any of my others. Embossing is um, my jam. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. It's always such a satisfying um, result. Okay, you can see that shimmer there where that powder has melted and the color actually ended up being a terrific complement to that twisted citron. So that was a happy surprise. All right, so you could, to again, totally stop there, but I'm just going to keep going a little bit further with this. I'm going to mask that ornament off, and I'm going to come in and ink blend a background. So I've got two colors I'm going to choose. I think I'm going to go with the Broken China. It's just a little bit of a lighter color that I think will work with those greens. So I'm just going to take my brush and speed this up a little bit. Do some ink blending. I think I'm using Bristol cardstock at this point. This is what I had out on my desk. I use the smooth, which is great for blending, um, and it's what was on my desk. <laughs> a lot of times I just use whatever's on my desk. There are always little scraps of paper everywhere um, in my bin that I like to use. I don't know if you, if you're one who holds on to paper. Um, I tr I don't keep them if they're teeny, teeny, tiny pieces. But I do keep a lot of um, the paper that I like to use, those scraps. And then I try to recycle the little tiny pieces whenever I can. So uh, this is, I'm going to finish this blend off. That color is so pretty, the Broken China. And let's pull off this mask and see what we have. Okay, I think that turned out pretty well. Again, you could stop, but I'm going to keep going. <laughs> I was in the mood to keep going on this card. Um, you can see I'm clearly not a drawer, and but I do want to add a little bit of the string, but then um, I will change my mind later. You'll see why. You could stop there. Looks great. But again, coming in, just have this, I got this stencil recently um, from Maker Forte that I loved, and I decided, oh, I should add some glitter gel on top of that. And since I've got this mask, I can do that. So I'm going to pull that out. I'm going to tape this down. Uh, I've got this linked, it's, I think it's called Centering On, and I've got that linked in the description. I love the way that it kind of, the circles go from large to small, and um, it kind of radiates out from the center, so I'm just going to add that on there. I've got my Gina K Glitz Jitter, Glitter Gel. I'm going to mix this up really good, and um, I'm almost out of it. I'll have to get some more. It's getting pretty low, but I've, I've made quite a few cards with it, so it's gone quite a far away. I'm going to layer that out, and then I've got this little uh, deco foil stencil tool, which is great for just kind of pulling it across a whole card front uh, without quite as much mess. And then uh, I will put that extra back in there. I'm going to go rinse my stencil off because you don't want to let it set up. Uh, you want to get that off of your stencil. And here is the reveal, and I will take that mask off. And you will see what we finally get. I'm going to use this little piece of tape to kind of hold it up. I'm trying not to stick my fingers all in my little beautiful dots. And there you go. Look at that. Okay, so I will clean this up and I will let this dry. Okay, we have dried. We're feeling pretty firm. Now, obviously, you cannot see the ornament string anymore. 
So I decided to add a piece of gold ribbon that I've had in my craft stash. I'm just taking a glue dot. They're a little bit too big for the ribbon, so I'm just kind of smushing it down to size. And I'm going to adhere this on to the glitter gel. I don't think a liquid adhesive would probably stay the best on there, but that glue dot is pretty strong. So I feel confident that it will adhere pretty well. I've also made a little tiny bow in the same ribbon to adhere on top to finish off that ornament. And I love how that turned out. So pretty. And again, you could have stopped a long time ago. So you have options. You have definite options with this uh, stencil. I'm going to apply some dry adhesive to my card front. Uh, I just don't want to you know, mess up anything on the front. It's so beautiful. So I'm just going to take that to my card base and gently press it down, making sure that I've got good adhesion on all those spots using my little pokey tool. And then the last step is going to be to add one of these sentiments from that sentiment paper, the season's greetings. And I have got a card made for the holidays. And I'm just loving that um, ornament. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I had a lot of fun. And be sure and check out uh, Maker Forte and Hedgehog Hollow. If you've never seen their products, they have a lot of fun things in the store. And I hope that you uh, have a crafty day. See you soon.